Welcome to O2E with Nick E, your recurring segment that helps take your programs from ordinary to extraordinary. And Kids Nation, this month, we have such a fun topic to talk about. You know them, you love them, well, some of you really don't love them, play breaks. That's right. And you might be sitting there going, how can we take a boring old play break from ordinary to extraordinary? And guess what? I've got the answers for you. Now, we know that every play break, all play breaks should be every hour, regardless of how many kids are in the space. We need to get them used to that rhythm and that system. Did you know that you could also do a play break whenever you wanted to? Like you didn't have to wait for the hour if it's a lot going on, if you need to find a child, if you need to just calm everyone down. No matter how loud it gets, the second we do a play break, when we're done with it, it never gets back up to that original loudness. So play break, we do them every hour, but you can do them more than once. We know that we have to get the kids to clean up during that time. We know that we like to get them to sit assembly style, not in a circle, because a circle is tough to really keep everyone engaged and to, and to communicate. We want them sitting assembly style, social distance, of course. We go over the rules, and then we dismiss them back to playing or to a class. Now, how do we take that ODE? Well, when you get the play break started, you should be doing a fun chant, a fun beat on a drum. I know some people like to use the sparkly tambourine, or you can create a song. Now, this is a fun way to get the kids all together. It's like Pavlov's dog. Ring a bell, they won't salivate, but they will know that it's time to go to a play break. When you get all the kids there, make it fun. It should almost have part of the enthusiasm and creativity of a morning meetup or an afternoon assembly. So go over and do a minute to win it game or do some kind of back pocket game while you're waiting to, to let the kids know, you know what? We're gonna have fun really quick before we dive into some rules. Then after you've played a fun game to get their attention, then utilize that and do a play break commercial. Get them pumped up about the kids inclusive membership event for that Saturday night. Talk to them about summer camp. Whatever you can do, if you wherever you want the kids to know about and leave with, now's your time. You have their attention. Play break commercial. A really neat thing you can do is to give shout outs. Praise children in front of their peers. Or better yet, have the children give shout outs to each other as well. There is nothing better than to be recognized and to receive praise in front of others. It gives us all the warm fuzzies. It helps build confidence and self-esteem and self-worth. There's so many amazing things that can happen when we praise children and we tell them how proud of how proud of them we are and what a great job they did. So don't miss that opportunity during the play break. Give some kids some shout outs. Who did a great job playing that last hour? Alrighty friends, now we're going to go ahead and do a special shout out for one of our friends today. Can I have Sterling go ahead and stand up and come up next to us for me? Alrighty. We are gonna give Sterling a shout out today because I don't know if you guys saw, but when we called her play break this afternoon, she went right over to the blocks and started helping all of her friends. And that's an awesome thing to do for each other. So let's go ahead and give her a big round of applause. Ready, set, go! Did you know that we can even go O2E going over the rules? That's right, yes. Going over the rules, we can take O2E. Now, the normal best practice is either pointing to the sign and going over the rules there, or even better yet, asking the kids if they know what some of the rules are. It's a great opportunity for them to speak up, to share knowledge, and to be recognized for following directions and knowing what the directions are. But there's an even more cool way if you have the talent at your club. Check this out from our Franklin Club. We're gonna go over some rules, all right? So. Wash them a 
lot. And what's another rule? Brush your teeth. That's a good one. Yes, Rowan. But when we play, what's the rule when we play together? Yes. Morgan. Yes, Morgan. The golden rule. Oh, we don't climb up the slide. No, we don't. She also said the golden rule, which is we treat others like we want to be treated. Who has one more rule for us? So there are so many ways you can take play breaks from ordinary to extraordinary. And as you're sitting here watching this, I bet you're thinking of things that you were already doing or that you could do that I didn't even think of. And you are ready to blow us away with all the cool things that you're doing at your club. So we would love to see it. Don't forget to take video, pictures, and even maybe write down some of the great things that you're doing in your club. And then we want to see it. Share with us on the grid. Hashtag O2E, hashtag O2E with Nick E, and hashtag Play Breaks. And we will get all the submissions in over the next month or so. Then on the next national call, we will announce our winner. Much love, Kids Nation, and have fun play breaking.